Hi, I'm Phil Brock. This is Brock and your block, and I'm staying in one of the parks that were created while I was a Recreation and Parks Commissioner in Santa Monica. You know, it was so gratifying helping advocate and listen to residents and help our city council create more parks in Santa Monica. Today, I'm going to give you a quick tour of some of the parks that were remodeled and created during my 13 years as a Recreation and Parks Commissioner for the city of Santa Monica. Come on, let's go. I'm in one of our neighborhood parks right now, Euclid Park. And what's interesting is the building behind is where I got my shots when I was a little kid going to school. That used to be the County Health Center. Today, we have children's play equipment. We have these great art birdhouses behind me. There is a demonstration garden, a small oasis for all the people who live in apartments in Santa Monica. They have some place to go outside and sit, reflect, and have a picnic. I was honored to be on the commission while Virginia Avenue Park was remodeled. And we're staying in the remodeled, enlarged Virginia Avenue Park right now. Behind me used to stand an old Thrifty Mart grocery store. Our council's vision and our community's pressure made this into an expanded, enlarged Virginia Avenue Park instead. This was an area, the Pico neighborhood, that had a lot of crime. A lot of scary situation happening all the time. Today, we have a beautiful library in this park. We have a great children's area. We have barbecue pits, a lot of grass, basketball courts, and this has become a wonderful community gathering place. I'm sitting at the large dog park right now at Santa Monica's Airport Park. Yes, it's in Santa Monica. And I was fortunate enough to be on the commission when we built Airport Park, and especially fortunate because we were able to add more park space, more field space for our children, our teens and adults who desperately wanted to play sports in Santa Monica. This park has not only the dog park, but it has barbecue areas, it has green space, it has a children's playground. Recreation and Parks Commission saved its money, and at the end of 2013, we were able to donate more benches to this park out of the spare money from the Recreation and Parks budget. This park will be expanded by 12 acres and three more playing fields in the next year. We're in Ozone Park right now. Ozone Park is on the south side of our city, just west of Lincoln Boulevard. And this is a park that the neighborhood cherishes. So I formed a partnership with the Kiwanis Club of Santa Monica, and we came in and built a $53,000 children's playground here at Ozone Park. The neighborhood appreciates it. I was so happy as a Recreation and Parks Commissioner to help facilitate this public-private partnership and to make Ozone Park better for the children and adults of this great neighborhood. One of the wonderful things that we accomplished while I was on the Recreation and Parks Commission was the opening of the South Beach Universally Accessible Playground. This is a playground for children of all abilities and it is something that was sorely needed in Santa Monica. It was wonderful to see children and their parents both enjoy this wonderful park. The fact that, hi there, the fact that kids love being next to the beach and they love the look of this park. I'm staying at the entrance of Tongva Park directly across from Ken Gamser Square. It was a heroic effort by so many Santa Monica's with great vision over a 20 year period. And Tongva Park is wonderful. I, I keep telling people, take a walk through the pathways, the variations of foliage, the birds, the great places just to sit. Sit on one of the great benches in Tongva Park. Listen to the water. This is an oasis in the heart of our downtown urban environment. I was so pleased to be on the commission as we opened and debated the virtues of Tongva Park. It's hard to believe the Cove, Santa Monica Skateboard Park is now over 11 years old. That's fantastic. It gave our children and our teens, and now our adults as well, a safe place to skate in the midst of our city. The Cove is at Memorial Park, and it has stayed a great place to celebrate 
the rise of skateboarding in America. Yes, skateboarding started in Dogtown and it continues here at Memorial Park. You know, I'm staying in Palisades Park, but directly west of me, directly west, is one of our greatest city assets. It's the old Marion Davies Estate, which was William Randolph Hearst's summer house, which became the Sand and Sea Club. Wallace Annenberg gave us a tremendous gift when she donated the money to rehabilitate the old Sand and Sea Club and to keep a historical treasure in our city. The Marion Davies Guest House, the Annenberg Beach House, it's a gateway to the Pacific Ocean. And it's wonderful that it's the only public beach club in the state of California. I've talked for years about how we need more parkland in Santa Monica. I've talked about how we are under the county average, under the state average for parkland, and how essential it is for us to add more breathing space for our citizens. Well, you know, as my term came to a close on the Recreation and Parks Commission, and I had a chance to reflect, yes, we are lacking in park space, but boy, the parks we have, the parks that I was able to give advice on, the land that we have in Santa Monica that's open is so valuable. It's so wonderful. We have a fantastic park system in our city. We're staying right now in Palisades Park, and it's a park I grew up in. When in high school, when something bad would happen, this is where I would ride my bike after school. This is still where I walk in the mornings, where I take an afternoon stroll. This is a park that I love. It's not only the symbol of our city, but it is a symbol of the openness of a city that wants to breathe. You know, as we look behind us, there are palm trees up and down Palisades Park. And those palm trees really are the high rises that we all want to see in Santa Monica. That's as tall as our buildings should be in our city. And yes, we need more parkland. You know, I'm so thankful to my fellow Recreation and Parks Commissioners over the years. The chairs that preceded me, the commissioners that are still on the commission. Our city council who sometimes had to be pushed and prodded, but always, always supported more parkland in our city. We need more playing fields. We still need more parkland. We need more places to breathe in an increasingly congested urban environment. But Santa Monica's parks, truly are a wonderful asset to our city and our region. For Brock and your block, I'm Phil Brock. It's been great today walking through Santa Monica's parks.